I'd, I'd like to believe that Rika Tech and the technologies that we, we produce in this and in, in our business is essentially a market leader in South Africa, if it's a trendsetter in South Africa. I, I'd like to believe that we're one of the first. Um, back in 2013, no one was talking about the fourth industrial revolution. No one was talking about IoT, but we were. So Ricotech is an information management system. Um, we're focusing on vehicles currently, um, and essentially we use IoT um, platforms um, by having devices that we manufacture at Ricotech, and essentially from those devices, we are able to read data from the vehicles and that data using our advanced analytics we then assist our clients with predictive maintenance uh, breakdown detections and predictions as well as linking you to a nearest help option vehicle wear and tear and using that wear and tear to accurately determine the residual value of that vehicle uh, we receive data from the vehicle every second and every five seconds we execute so it's re pretty much real-time data the information can be used across the board it can be used by insurer if the insurer is trying to adjust premiums, if the insurer is trying to assess the risk of a driver, um, if the insurer is trying to give benefits with, with regards to the actual vehicle owner, be able to tell you what's wrong with your vehicle before you even know what's wrong with your vehicle. Um, from a fleet management perspective, we're able to assist them with um, you know, fuel levels, uh, fuel consumptions, um, fuel efficiencies. Um, we're able to assist them in terms of what vehicles to actually purchase within the fleet um, based on the environment of the fleet because we have a machine learning algorithm that essentially um, calculates the wear and tear of your vehicle based on the environment, road conditions, weather conditions. Um, so that, again, it's such a big data space. Um, and the new buzzword is data is the new oil. Data is the new oil because what data is is simply a mechanism for decision making. If you have data, you can make better informed decisions. So I'll give you a simple example. When, you, when our industry, when people essentially, if I want to sell my car when I trade it in, they ask how many kilometers it's been, um, it's, it's, it's been used. Um, they ask, has it been an accident? And they give you a value. Okay, you bought it in this year, so you're depreciating at 10 or 15% per annum. That is purely accounting principles to determine that. It does not take into consideration how I've been treating my vehicle, how I've been driving my vehicle, um, how many service intervals, etc. All of these kind of things where with us at Ricketech, because we are monitoring every second that ignition is on, the health of the vehicle, the driving, you are able to have a better and more accurate figure for how much your vehicle is worth. And the residual values have always been there, but now they're more accurate because data has informed it. And that's what it is, right? That, that's, what did, that's why it's so powerful. It's about making informed decisions. You know, insurers are using data. There's big insurance in health space that now essentially can give me benefits because they know how many times I've been to the gym. They're monitoring my heart, heart rate. So they know what the risk is. And essentially what data does for these industries, it's a risk mitigator, asset risk mitigator. And that's what it is. Thank you.